Hey, today I'm going to review a new shovel from Predator Tools. Uh, this is the Ultra Phantom Model 22. I have not used this shovel yet. I'm excited about the fact that it comes with, well, it doesn't come with it. It's got a sheath. Uh, the sheath is like 20 bucks. You put it over the blade and this protects uh, when you put this in your vehicle. So if you're traveling uh, and you don't just put it in the back of your truck, you can put the sheath on it and you're not going to poke or tear anything. Uh, it's pretty well made, pretty thick. So this Ultra Phantom is, is, is different. Uh, it's got this smaller blade on it. Uh, the overall length, it's per, or uh, I'm sorry, the weight is pretty light. It's just over two pounds. Uh, the overall length is just over 36 inches. This blade uh, width is only four inches. It is seven and a quarter inches long, but this thing can tear through roots. It's, it's got the serrated sides on both sides. The tip is pretty sharp. Uh, my first impression just looking at this is that this is going to be a really good shovel if you've got hard soil. I've detected a lot out west and the soil can be a lot more compacted and rocky. Um, luckily here in North Carolina, a lot of the uh, fields, it's, it's just extremely soft. And then if you're digging in, in grass, it's, it's really soft too. But uh, I'm going to check this out and see what kind of plugs it digs. And I'll let you guys know my honest opinion and get back to you. Got into some grass so that we could see how it cuts plugs. And one thing I noticed, I've dug a couple plugs so far, is that it's super easy to handle as far as when you're turning it around where you want that blade to go. Because it is much smaller, it's just a lot easier to control and put it exactly where you want to put it. And the thing that's cool too is it, it does turn over a pretty good plug. I think that's bottle cap. So yeah, that's after a couple holes, that's one thing I noticed is when you're down into the plug, see I use the, the Raptor shovel. Uh, it just scoops a lot of dirt. This kind of acts the same way because it's small. So when I'm down here, you know, I can use, I can use this just like I would my hand shovel and I can scoop a lot of dirt out and also cut through roots. But it acts pretty much like the Raptor. And this thing is so light because the blade is so small. But uh, if you're detecting in parks, I would say if you're detecting in grass in general, I don't, I don't like chewing up the grass and cutting gigantic plugs. But if you know how to pinpoint and you know where your target is, um, you can cut a smaller plug if you want. You can go around, make it wider and, and uh, dig a big plug. But from what I'm experiencing so far, it's very easy to handle as far as where that blade is going. And uh, it goes into the ground like a knife through butter. So I like it so far. All right, we got a signal right here. So, and I, I guess it's just me that's purposefully digging a smaller plug. You can dig it as big as you want, but if you're just, if you're used to just doing like three or four cuts into the soil, obviously it's going to create a smaller plug. But as you can see, it's a pretty, pretty precise on the plug. tab okay we'll keep going hey so one thing that i found with the shovel that i think is really cool uh so i'm digging a plug and i cut it on 
either side. If I want, and I'm doing this with one hand, when I'm in there, I can just twist my wrist and saw around kind of to make that horseshoe shape. But that's just with one hand and turning my wrist because the shovel is so light, I can cut a plug just like that. You can't do that with the other shovels that are bigger, but because this blade is narrow, I, I just discovered that while digging a lot today. So that right there is a, is a big plus. You run into roots or just here in the grass, just with turning your wrist with no effort at all, it'll cut around and uh, help you dig that plug. But yeah, I just wanted to point that out because that's a feature that I wasn't expecting. It's just something that I noticed today, metal detecting. All right, end of the day, here's that sheath that I told you about. So when I'm putting away this Ultra Phantom shovel, there you go. You can stick it in your car, inside the cab of your vehicle, and you're not going to have to worry about it cutting anything or jab it into anything. So that's a cool feature. Uh, I'll talk about it when I wrap this all up. They're making the sheaths available for a couple of the models and I think the Phoenix is included. That's the other shovel I use. But we'll get back to that. So that wraps up the review for Predator Tools Ultra Phantom shovel. In my opinion, this is an awesome shovel if you're going to be digging in grass uh, it, it just cuts through everything as you can see with one hand i can literally cut a nice round plug uh, it's also really good in hard compact soil because it is pointed in more of a narrow blade uh, the only thing is I, I would not use this shovel personally if i'm going to be uh, metal detecting in an open field with soil that we commonly have here in North Carolina where it is very soft, sandy. Uh, if, you, if you know you're going to be digging holes where you need a lot of dirt out out of each scoop, uh, I, I wouldn't use the shovel. But for everyday metal detecting, it depends on what your soil type is. Definitely for grass, for hard, compact soil, this is a really cool tool. So I know I'm going to be using this quite a bit when I'm out digging and it's just a cool tool. So I will put a link in the description. It's predatortools.com and this is the Ultra Phantom. Uh -huh.